All right, folks, we are officially open at Cornutus. Last time we checked in was the soft open, but we are officially open for business. Our menu is growing, kitchen's doing well. Let's go check it out. kitchen is open. It's a busy day because we got a live event, but we are Ooh. That's not a bad day. 1900. I need a bag of rice. We're growing. That's good. Check out the kitchen. No one's back here right now, but uh, the event, the vent hood is looking good. The grill's doing good. One thing that I like is um, we kind of have all of our equipment dialed in. We got a couple extra little things, health processes and breakfast. We do breakfast all day. Um, you know, just little equipment, square handle, kitchen. Um, one thing that really helps was our burger press. I don't see it up here right now, but food scales just, you know, I'm not sure all this stuff was here last time. And as we grow, we're going to obviously need more and more stuff. Oh, there you can go, Patty. It's going. It was a busy We're going to need a bigger kitchen, more frogs, more grill, <coughs> more everything. Okay. Because we're having a dance sale, and this isn't going to stop. <laughs> well, I hope, I hope and so. I'll also, we, we need an emergency hamburger press. Because I'm having yeah. to get on to my people about the way they're smashing out the patties. I thought we, I thought we were going to fix that one. Our burger press uh, broke. Well, it's back there. I don't know who's oh, our thing. welder. Who's our welder? Jeff. We got. We had a gift shop there. Oh, is that a gift shop? Yeah. We well, got a gift shops are coming back here. That's, be, that's because they're running uh, a vent sale. Yeah. Well, we're looking at them now. You still got it. Look at it. Okay. Cool. Sit down for a minute. Our printer's yeah. working at least. This here. is cool. It prints off and you put it up here and you cook it. Yes. And for the record, all the employees' backs are hurting, their legs are hurting, and their feet are hurting. <laughs> okay. And it's been Please. a busy day. I can tell them we're, I think we got more people coming. Yeah. We got a live event today. Yeah, I saw. Yep. And we're almost, we're pretty low on ice. That usually keeps up. New addition. We got a commercial walk up, double door freezer, whatever you call this, like 45 square, or 45 cubic foot, all of our tenders, frozen items, keep some emergency meat in there. Our dry closet is now fully stocked. All the stuff that we need uh, to make this kitchen run would was awesome actually if we had a health inspector come in, walk through the entire thing, the closet, kitchen, etc. Apparently we got 100% uh, grading on our health inspection, which is like unheard of, especially for a first time. So super proud of that. The door. One of the best sellers is the sweets. We've gone pumpkin bread. Fresh made chocolate chip cookies, secret recipe, doing really good. Then we got ourselves a whole sweet display. And here's our uh, current menu, it's a two pager. This thing's gonna continue to grow. Right now we got probably 10 breakfast, 10 lunch items, all of our snacks, and we got seven appetizers on here. So my goal is to make this a two page, full two page menu. Plenty of lunch, plenty of lunch, lunch options, plenty of breakfast options. We'll do even like a late afternoon pork chop or steak or something like that. And then we've gone to homemade pie as well. Pretty well on pie sales. Uh, fresh baked every week. Bring them in, sell them by the slice. Customers love it. How are y'all? Good, how are you? Doing good. You're, you're the owner of this town, aren't you? I am, nice, to meet, nice you to meet you. Where are you from? We're from El Paso. Okay. Yeah, we pitched our tent. We're gonna stay nice. the night. Yeah. Awesome. Did you find us on Facebook? How did you find out about it? Facebook. Yep. Right, there we go. The marketing is working. It's yes, working. Yeah. If you need something, let us know. Thank you. Thank you.
We finally got our gift shop at Cornudas open. It's looking pretty clean, featuring all southwestern stuff, placemats, posters, blankets. And this will expand as we grow. We got a lot of space, a lot of shelving to grow. These bags are doing well, Southwest bags. We're working right now with a vendor for consignment stuff. We got a bunch of drums and even some Native American art and skulls, which are pretty cool. And also on consignment, some homemade native jewelry. A lot of turquoise in here, which is awesome. It's been selling good, actually. I think she's already done. Three or four hundred day uh, dollars in sales for the first day. It's pretty crazy. Well, you can't beat this one. Full parking lot. This is awesome to see on a Saturday afternoon. Probably 15, 20 cars out here. The town is growing. Our gas sales have been doing fairly well also. Someone, this is a big no-no, someone left our lock off. There's always little things like this, just keeping everyone and everything in line. We're doing about four and a half gallons a day in gas, and of course we charge $10 a gallon on emergency gas. For all you haters out there and trolls are gonna drop comments on this video, yes, we're selling about 45 or $50 a day worth of gas. And it costs us a lot to get it delivered out here and the customers are super thankful that they're not getting stranded on the side of the road. The newest addition to the cafe is a vending machine. So new, we don't even have anything in it yet. I think I'm gonna keep it right out here, out front for people to use when they're closed or early on before opening. It's a cooling unit, so it'll keep things cold. Chocolate won't melt. So it'll be a good addition to the cafe, I hope. Our hotel is officially open for business. We refinished the whole exterior and interior. Went with a nice uh, turquoise teal color. And our color theme's that blue and the windows, all new windows repainted. And we have guests today for our live event, which is cool. But I want to show you all the interior of the room. Art, right, can we peek into your room real quick? Let's give us a little interior tour. I want to show them the new paint job, mini splits are working. Got a little mess here, it's all right. Went with the red, red doors, red interior wall. It's got a nice look, red and white and blue theme to it. Looks spacey, feels homey, I like it. Bright yellow bug lights that are, bugs can't see, doesn't attract the bugs. Gives a nice aesthetic to the exterior. Brand new doors. Electronic locks hooked up so we can rent them out on Airbnb and give everybody a unique uh, passcode. We all know at Cornudas it's one thing after another. So this is our septic line for motel rooms five and six. Up here at the building, it basically rotted and decayed away. So we had to dig all this up. Our goal is to run a new line out to here, dump to the septic back here. We have to put this in, but we got our new septic line here, so we got to patch this up and it's another Cornutus fix. The lifeblood of this property is obviously water. This is our well, it's 900 foot deep, it fills up this 2,000 gallon storage tank, and this thing was put on old railroad ties that created a bulge in the tank, and it's leaking. I've tried probably three or four times now to patch this up, but the tank bulged and it split. So we got, it's a tiny leak. It's probably, I don't know, 50 gallons a day or so, but you know, it's gonna rot all this wood. So we're gonna need to figure out how we're actually gonna uh, fix this once and for all because we're 0 for 3. We're losing water, we're losing our base. We don't want our well to go down. So those of you who have been following along, you know that this is only one of several businesses when I come out. This is my workstation. We got a desk in here finally. We got this house I stay at. Finally cleaned up a little bit. We, we call it man camp. Got a bunch of guys staying here, but it's ready for furniture. And you know, looking 
manageable and reasonable now. It's workable and habitable at least. We went ahead and bought a smoker trailer that we're gonna add on to for our own barbecue events. And of course, uh, some of my guys tried using it. Very first time and burnt the trailer. So we gotta replace the wood. Here's our other smoker and we hope to get like a black stone or something else on it. That way we can do like, yeah, I'm, I'm aiming for maybe once a month barbecues. Uh, maybe like first Saturday of every month or something. I'll hold barbecue events out here, cook up some brisket, sausage, pork, serve the folks what they want. Here's our Hornudas gym as well. Got a new addition here with this weight machine. Simple outdoor gym that we come and get a pump in during the day. We're working hard, we come out here, hit the bench, do some squats, pull ups. Try and stay fit. That's not no uh, Lifetime or LA Fitness even, but gets the job done. Oh, nothing like a good outdoor workout at sunset though. I don't know about these cowboy chairs. Is it finally gonna be their year at the Super Bowl? Nah, never is. This is the Red House, I call it. It's eventually gonna be a short-term rental. Did a whole new deck on it. That was a fun project. And then in the interior, it is almost ready. It's coming together. Um, needs some, some more furniture. We refinished the, the floor. Base splits are in and working good. It feels very nice in here. Come back to the bedrooms here. It's a two bed, one bath. And uh, this was the floor project. Brand new hard flooring. Brand new beds and mattresses. One room with two uh, twin beds and one room with a queen bed. What is left to do in here is the bathroom. The tub needs to be refinished. It's an old tub, we scraped it, uh, cleaned it all up, and then we're hit it with a little bit of refinisher and clean this all up. I think we'll be ready to run out 100 to 150 a night, depends. See how we do. Happy to report that our trees are doing pretty well. A lot of green, which is obviously hard to do in the desert. Our goal is to prune up these pine trees uh, this winter when it gets cool, but pine trees are looking good, trees are looking good. We got tents camping out in the forest over here. Hard to, hard to find water in the desert, so these trees are doing good for what they got. Now, the cafe obviously runs on its own tank. We have to haul this in, it's our brand new water tank. Once a month, we go to El Paso and uh, submit a water test and recently we've done some more filtering and you can actually see this filter if you look at this this thing is actually pretty dirty as is so i think that needs to be changed um, we have a, a pool filter that we're going to hook up to recirculate from the bottom out of our tank to remove any sand bugs etc that get in there there shouldn't be any in there uh, in there because it's all sealed up but you know inevitably things find their way in when we have water delivered uh, bugs find their way in, it's $300 to have a water delivery of about 2,500 gallons and we're doing it probably every 10 to 14 days. So just in water hauling alone for the cafe, we're at probably 600 a month in water usage out of this tank. Level is full, we just got delivered two days ago. So we're hopeful that it lasts probably another 14 days, but haul it in, goes into here, filtrate, filters in there, then we got to run it to El Paso once a month so we can pass inspection and stay open. So this is August 10th. We've been open for three months, three months now. This is a day of our live event. Cornutus is alive and well. This is our first uh, real big event. We did a biker run a month ago, but cafe's doing well. Events are coming online. I hope to continue growing with more short-term rentals, menu items, all the things. We're just getting started. Three months into it now. I'm excited to see where eight, 12, 18 months leads us. I think the sky is the limit. We've got probably 50 cars out here. It's awesome. Traffic is good. Business is growing. I can't complain. So, until next time, we're going to have a lot more updates. Appreciate you following along. Poor Nudist Texas.